Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a uh, short video on how to find your initial seed in Pokemon XD Gales of Darkness and the different methods you can use to advance frames slash figure out your current seed. So the first thing, obviously, is to find your initial seed. So for this, you'll need the program GameCube Pokemon RNG Assistant. Um, and as I work on this video, oh, hold on, let me lower the volume. No, it's low enough. So as I work on this video as well, it's being, um, uh, the function should be either in or almost in uh, PokeFinder, the all-purpose old gen RNG tool. Okay, so to get the initial seed finding process started, it's really easy. You're going to start the game. Um, versus mode, just like in Colosseum, quick battle. And battle versus CPU, and we'll leave it over ultimate for a minute. Then you're going to select your game, XD Gale of Darkness, and click find your seed. Um, it just explains how the process works in the tool itself, which is nice. Also, for this tool to work, you're going to need... Um, a specific file uh, where is it so you'll need <clears throat> in here you're gonna need to make sure you have the xd.precalc file it's on the same page you download the GC Pokemon RNG tool but you just you make sure you have it um, so what you do is you go into here <clears throat> hit a and then you for the first round you don't type any HP stats you just check the Pokemon so Rayquaza and Moltres next pass so then you go back you do it again it's Mew and Latias and then you type in all four HP stats so 355 the one below that's 347 so as you can see finding the seeds really really easy um, click next pass and see look it just found it twice you sometimes you'll have to do more you basically just repeat that process until it's done and then you click finish now one of the first methods of advancing the RNG is going to be within this tool itself. So, every time you go in and out of quick battle, it will advance the seed um, by one, which actually can be a large amount. So, you can see here in this tool, it says store seed, right? Reroll. Now the new seed is this, right? And we can see how many frames that actually advances uh, by going into XD seed and typing in our initial seed as 3F11s. There's a multiple ways to see which um, how how far this will advance it, and it doesn't you know it doesn't advance it the same every time. And then we're trying to get to 90, 7, 8, 6 CCE. You can see it did 496, and this could vary between, you know, <clears throat> this could vary in amounts. Um, you can see it when you check your Pokemon and stuff. So, if you have to do a huge amount of advancements, so if I if I wanted to reroll this, like, um, right, <clears throat> and so like I was saying, this is really really good for extremely extremely far advancements. Um, if I just went over and over again, let's say 65, right? Remember, this was our initial seed, the seed we stored. Um, we could actually add a few more nines here, just to be sure. The new seed is, let's see, 7B, 7D, 3-6. And you can see that was 48,000 advancements, okay? So all I would have to do if I wanted to do 65 advancements was back in it, was would be to go like this. Um, so that's 1, 2, 3, right? I'd have to do that 65 times. It's a little bit long, but, um, you know, it's still uh, not that bad when you really, really think about, like, you know, how, how long things could take. Um, so I, I, I'm counting my rerolls here. I did three rerolls there. I'm just keeping track of it. The reason you click the store seed button, right, is just to have your initial seed copy down somewhere, right? Um, so, now, um, uh, this is our the number of rerolls you do right. This is your current seed. I've done three rerolls. This is my current seed four one one eight two zero four. All right. Um, now 
<clears throat> there are a few other ways to advance your frames, and we'll get into that now. So we'll go into the battle. Or not into the battle, into the game. So, uh, there are multiple ways to check um, your advancements and whatnot. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go over here into what I know is a noiseless area, basically. So, there are a few things that can cause advancements. One of them would be opening the items menu, right? Um, the items menu is variable, uh, and this also applies to opening the Pokemon menu. I believe they share the same exact value in regards to this type of thing. So if you open and then close the items menu or the Pokemon menu, um, it does a random number of advancements. So for example, in this room, I know it's eight, but you have to test it in every single area. So the way you would do that is you would load up the save file, find your initial seed, do one, uh, open the items menu and then close it, and then immediately catch the Pokemon you're aiming for. And assuming there's no noise in that area, um, and you could do it in an area with no noise, right? You can load up into an area with no noise, do the advancement, you know, go to where you need to go, and then figure out how many advancements are that way. I'll cover this type of thing specifically when I do other videos, but just so you know, you have to deduce it. Uh, in every area and so if you're saved right in front of a trainer in an area where there's no noise right you would have to open the item menu encounter catch the pokemon and then check how many advancements you were off the base amount right like i said so in this room it's um in this room it's about uh it's eight um saving is just saving the game 63 frame advancements it's uh pretty nice checking out a pokemon summary um it's about it's very, very variable depending on the Pokemon. So basically, I think it's dependent on their movement. So if a Pokemon moves more, the Pokemon is more likely to uh, cause advancements. The less it moves, the less advancements it causes. Um, for example, I believe Gulpin actually doesn't cause any advancements because it just sits still. So it would just be going into this, right? And looking at this Venusaur summary here, just big chilling. So this would cause some advancements, right? Um... Then, um, so various types of summaries cause more advancements. Shadow Pokemon cause crazy amounts of advancements. Um, I'm talking like thou, like um, almost four thousand per second. Um, um, so that is an extremely quick way to do it. I just don't have any Shadow Pokemon on me. Uh, checking the Pokemon in the PDA also causes a lot of advancements. Um, so you would go to the sh uh, strategy memo and then look at this Pokemon here. So that Abra is causing a bunch of advancements. That's causing uh, almost 500 advancements per second. Um, and again, s Pokemon with different animations cause um, variable amount of times. You'll have to do just different testing yourself. Um, seeing a Shadow Pokemon uh, in the strategy memo uh same thing so far um seeing them in hyper mode causes them to advance way faster as well now the last method and i haven't talked about it yet because there, there's a very good reason why i haven't talked about this yet okay so uh it is an extremely good way to figure out how what your current seed is and cause advancements at the same time so believe it is give me one second so in this tab right here this is used to verify what um uh our new current seed is so we're going to paste our our seed we found right here that was the this is our last known seed right now this is how many advancements we've done i have no idea how many i've done right now um so i'm going to do i'm going to assume a quite a large amount and all we do is watch our little dude move and groove. So let me hold on. Let me let me do let me let me find a. I don't want to squish him that bad. Dang it! I'll pause it. Okay, this will work better. 
So we're just going to watch our guy stand in place. So, um, the little dude does three different motions. So I'll show them here. Um, this one is front to back. This Japanese character is left and right. Oh, I just missed what he did. Now, the nice thing is, I, d I think that was a left to right one. Um, and the nice thing is when you pause the menu, no frames advance here and he won't advance either. So I'll just double check which one I hit. Yeah, so I hit left and right. So I would click this one and then we just wait more. And, oh, and this one's up and down, the very last one here. And so you just got to watch the little guy kind of move. So he does one every few seconds. It's a really, it takes a very long time. So that was up and down. So that was this one over here. And front and back, he kind of sways forward and backwards. I'll uh, do another, I'll do like a little mini pause. So that was left and right again, which is the middle one. And I'll, I'll wait till he does a front and back one. Well, he might not do it ever, technically. Oh, and there it is. So front and back is the far left one. So I'll pause again. And um, I can do a little search here. And then, so this guesses, right? I'm, I've set to, like, you know, was it nine? This other... No, that's 900,000. So, um, it could be any one of these, right? And all you would have... To, and it could be any one between. So we know it's less than 900... Or no, because I canceled the search, right? So it'll, it'll keep doing the searches. And you can just keep going. Um to wait to see how long you've uh um you can keep doing these until you've exactly found your seed now in a more controlled situation you would know exactly the general type the general amount of advancements you're aiming for so this will be more uh, this will be shown better once i actually you know am RNGing a specific pokemon but you basically the idea is you leave this open you know after tr attempting roughly you know you know, if, if a Pokemon's uh, specific thing does 500 frames per second, right, that animation, left and right. So if a Pokemon's animation does, you know, roughly 500 per second or something like that, you wait 20 seconds, right, then um, you know the range would be within a specific amount of frames. And we search again and it, it'll narrow the search results as you can see here. Um, and so the idea would be we would use the first method where we advance, you know, we save this many times, etc. Stuff like that. And uh, another important thing to note is every single time he does one of the idle animations, it's two frames of uh, two frames of RNG is uh, used up. So you can use and mix and match these different methods to advance the frames a specific amount of times. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. This video is mostly just going to be used for context for other types of RNG I show off in Gales of Darkness. If you have any questions, please let me know. I really hope this video was helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. I just want to shout out to Green Darkness who donated this copy of XD Gale of Darkness to me. Thank you very much. I wouldn't be able to make these videos without you, man. Same goes to my donators and channel members. These videos would not be coming out as frequently or basically at all without you guys supporting me. It really makes a big difference and I really appreciate every single one of you. Thanks so much.